Okay, in this video I was going to show you a way to download a very useful um, operating system. Uh, it's called Puppy Linux, uh, Precise Puppy. Uh, you can actually use this on an older computer. Uh, you can also use it to like, save somebody's files and stuff, like say their Windows has crashed and there's no way to recover the windows without completely reformatting everything. Well, ordinarily they would lose all their pictures and their music and all your documents and all that kind of stuff. Well, with Precise Puppy, you pop the <laughs> DVD in, you can access their uh, files through Puppy. You can put these files that you want to save on a USB drive then you can reformat, reinstall Windows. If you really want to reinstall Trouble, go ahead and reinstall the Windows. Or you can just reinstall a Linux operating system, then you won't have to worry about it anymore. But I'm going to show you how to get it, how to burn it onto a disk, and how to put it onto your computer. Okay, we'll open up Firefox, and as you can see, I've typed in Precise Puppy Downloads. You want to go to distro watch is right here now as you can see you've got you want to go to the latest date that you can that is still puppy Linux and it's precise uh, the precise is the one that will work on the older computers okay you click on that and you can get the download right here it shows precise 5.7 ISO it's only 170 megabytes, but I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. So that will go on a regular CD. Okay, you click on that, it'll automatically start downloading. Then, what you'll want to do, you want to put in a CDR. Give it a minute to load up and you can go into Bracero and here is where you've got to be careful because you don't want to just create a data project and just write the data straight to the CD you want to burn the image so you click on burn image and select the image which it will usually go into your downloads and right here it is open it and as you can see there's plenty of free space still left on the disk but that's all you want to do um, click burn allow it to do its business here Once this is burned onto the disk, give it a minute to get done here. Okay, now it is burned to the CD, it's ejected. I paused for most of the burning process. Um, now you can just close that, close your Bracero, and then you can also go ahead and, uh, to try it out, you can go ahead and restart your computer. Uh, to do that, I'll have to switch to a regular video, so I'll stop. Okay, now you just have to make sure your CD is in, go ahead and push your drawer back in. Uh, and click the restart 
and it'll shut down. Now you'll have mine is escape. As soon as it starts restarting, you have to push your your button to get into your boot order. Your and mine will be escape first, and then F9. Yours will probably be different. You want to put your boot order to boot to the CD DVD ROM drive first, and push enter, and it will boot up. And see a little puppy dog there. And it will load up. And this runs completely in RAM. Once it's loaded up into your RAM and running, you can actually remove the CD and you can, uh, you know, if you wanted to put another CD in to do something else. As you can see, it says copying to RAM right now. My CD ROM drive is getting noisy for some reason. Okay. Give it just a minute. I'll be able to show you how you can get into other operating systems, files and folders, and you can, oh, there it goes, making the file system usable, updating network drivers list, and And it does recognize that the media device that it's running on is the optical input, which is your DVD ROM drive. Now, it is pulled up, and it'll, of course, give you this. You can set up all your time zones and all that kind of stuff here. Um, also, you can set up your network, internet connection. Usually, you can click connect and it it's pretty self-explanatory getting everything hooked up and find your wireless and there is mine old green is mine and it's connect it's connecting right now There it is. Okay. Now you're actually connected to the internet. You have your firewall up. And down here, if you'll notice, it shows several pictures of drives. There's Chase. What I'll do is I'll open up. Let's say I want to go into my Ubuntu. And okay, these are my files that are on my Ubuntu part of the computer. And you know, if this was Windows, you could do the same thing. You could see all your files. You know, you can go, you can go into Home, and this has all my pictures and stuff. See. All you would have to do would be drag all this into a USB drive and then unplug the USB drive and reformat everything and you still have all your files. Uh, that's if something was corrupted and you had to come in and fix it. Um, you can also you can go through and look for different problems. 
so it's it's a real good diagnostic tool. This is, uh, but also it's fairly fast. Uh, let me get this pulled up here. Everything is single click on here too. You don't want to double click on anything because you'll open it up twice. Uh, it doesn't use Firefox. It uses what's called SeaMonkey. You can see right there, SeaMonkey browser. Uh, it's okay. I prefer Firefox, but it's it's an okay browser, and it does work. But it, you know, you can set up things. You have a limited number of uh, desktop backgrounds and stuff like that. And if you click anywhere, right click anywhere on the screen, you'll pull up your menu, and then you can go through. It comes with quite a bit of stuff for the amount of space that it takes up. It comes with quite a bit of stuff. I mean, it's it's, it's a pretty complete desktop, and it's very lightweight. It runs fairly well on an old machine. I put it on an old, old computer. Well, that old computer is the one that I made my secret monitor out of on my one of my videos and it runs well on it and it's a it's an antique or almost <laughs> it's an old computer but that's that's my tutorial for precise puppy oh you you can also install it but since it will run oh yeah let me show you here you can eject there is the CD that the operating system is running off of and as you can see it is still running. It runs entirely in RAM, uh, which is very nice. But if you should wish to try this out, you might find you like it, or you might be able to rescue someone's uh, Windows computer. Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.